let me start off this video by saying no. I don't hate Illimation. I don't think she's a horrible person that needs to be deplatformed, despite the fact that she wanted to deplatform another YouTuber. And in case you guys missed it, I made a video about it yesterday in case you guys want to catch up. So long story short, this YouTuber made a video called Perks of Being a Fat Kid. And it's one of the dumbest videos I've seen on the platform. It low-key encourages people to be like, who cares? There's no difference between a marshmallow and a carrot. Not taking out of context, we will get into that in a bit because we're watching this. And some parts of this video I agree with. I'm like, I feel you, I understand you. But some parts, I'm like, what? <laughs> you really went from being rational all the way to being extremely crazy to the point where I'm like, how did you animate this, edit this, voice over this, rewatched it, and still saw nothing wrong with what you said? This looks like a channel that is mainly enjoyed by younger people. So when you make a video called Perks of Being a Fat Kid towards your young audience, now you're gonna damage people the same way you were damaged. And I'm sure that was not the intention at all because I do have a lot to say wow that's a shocker <laughs> anyways let's just get right into it okay so i had gotten a halloween costume but when i opened the package the costume was broken so i said that in my gmail status thingy then i got a message from the girl who was bullying me who i'll just call mini mini the only reason your costume broke is because you so damn fat me shut up and leave me alone mini oh now you want me to leave you alone when you always harassing me me you know i ain't any bigger than me. No idea what that means. Mini. I know, but you way bigger than me. Not to drag this out, but this is pretty much middle school drama, high school drama. Everyone here has been to middle school, high school, and everyone here knows how mean people are. I mean, for the love of God, everyone got picked on, bullied, called names. Like, that's just middle school for better or for worse. I'm not saying I approve of this or I think this is cool because it's not. This is middle school drama. This is just the way kids are. And I've said this a lot of times. Kids are fucking horrible, okay? Middle school kids high school kids they're pretty bad everyone got picked on either for being way too short or for being way too tall or for being too skinny or for being too fat or for being thick or for being in the middle kids will find any way to tear you down now i get it it could be very impactful as a kid move on i don't know how old this person is i'm sure they're around my age 20 23 24 ish if i had to take a wild guess middle school was 10 15 years ago and delay let's move on the shame of being picked on for things you're already self-conscious about feels like lava is being poured all over you. And when you experience harassment like this for days, weeks, months on end with no support, it singes your confidence into ashes. Cause the world makes it crystal clear that they resent your presence. They will be cruel to you for it. And if you don't like how you're being treated, that's your fault. If someone picks on you, say something, right? And this is just me, and I grew up in the early 2000s. When I was in middle school, it was the early 2010s, something around there. You know, I'm horrible with time. Yeah, you know, there was times where I got picked on, and what did I do? I said something, because the second the bully knows you're not gonna take their shit, that's when they're like, oh, Shit, this guy might punch me or this guy might say something. I better go pick on someone else who's going to let me. You know what I mean? So you get a send off for yourself, but you can do something about it. It's not like you're missing both legs and you can never run again and you're gonna stay extremely obese all your life. And am I claiming to be the fittest guy ever? I've said this once, I've said it again. No, I am not the most fittest guy, six pack ready to go. But at the same time, I'm not the one being like, you know, there's some perks of being fat. There's no perks of being fat, okay? And I saw this comment under this video. Here's all the benefits of her message increased risk of heart disease obesity is a major risk factor for heart disease number two type 2 diabetes being overweight significantly increases the risk of developing type 2 diabetes joint problems excess weight puts additional strain on the joints no no we're we watching the same video these are the perks of being the fat kid these sound like pros i mean i could die earlier and then my joints could be hurting at the young age of 20 fuck yeah dude i'm all for that i support that let's go and then name even more stuff sleep apnea certain cancers obesity has been linked to an increased risk of several types of cancer including breast colon kidney fatty liver disease not fat fell big depression and mental health issues that should be an obvious one these do not sound like perks these sounds like things i would want to change like i don't want to be depressed i don't want to be sad i don't want to be extremely obese i don't want to have five chins but remember guys these are the perks of being the fat kid i don't know why anyone's criticizing this video according to self.com diet culture is an entire belief system that associates food with morality and 
and thinness with goodness. And it's rooted in the very colonial belief that every individual has full control and responsibility over their health. No, 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 that is woke propaganda. Everyone knows being fat is unhealthy and anyone can lose weight by focusing on diet and exercise. Calories in, calories out, it is not that hard. Okay, well, I'm glad that works for your body, but Here's how that went for me. Uh, I don't know if I'm just tripping. Please correct me if I'm a dum dum. Associates food with morality and thinness with goodness. Apple equals good. She's fit. She looks nice. Ice cream equals bad. She looks lazy. I know this is just trying to simplify it. You know, I, I, I get that. Too much of anything is bad for you. Too many apples, bad. Too much ice cream, bad. It's all about balance. I love chips. Chips are a thing that I can't let go. I love my hot Cheetos, my Takis, my Fritos flaming hot. Hot Cheetos are my shit. I can't put them down. But it's all about balance. Eating ice cream is not bad. And I don't think people should see it as a negative. If you have it every now and then, if you have ice cream once per week, awesome. Go crazy. If that's your cheat meal, fuck yeah. I love ice cream, but I don't eat it every single day. It's all about control and managing whatever substance you're putting in your body. It's all about balance. It's not a straightforward ass. Ice cream, bad. Apple, good. Book, good. Foam, bad. This is when we get into boomer mentality. Foam equals bad because it makes you lazy. Well, it's how you use it. The phone is an extremely useful thing, but it could also be done to do a lot of bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's all about balance. The thing I wanna get across is self-control. I'm not saying it's easy, okay? Just wanna put it out there. It's rooted in the very colonial belief that every individual has full control and responsibility over their health. Yeah, you're not wrong. Isn't that right? Who else is responsible for my health besides me? Like, who else cares about myself more than myself? At the end of 2022, I was nominated for a Streamy Award in the animation category. So I got to walk the Streamy's red carpet and attend the awards ceremony, which was a blast. But when all the photos came out, I felt that oh so familiar lava flow of shame consume me. I hated how wide my legs were when I posed. I hated that squishy part under my chin that stuck out when I smiled. Yeah, she probably shouldn't have told us that because when you go to Google and search her name up, yeah, it's one of the first things that come up. I think this should be obvious, but I don't have a problem with fat people, okay? That's not my issue. My issue is when you make videos like these, that could harm young people who watch your videos. Like, I don't hate fat people. Like, that's not the goal of this video. My video is not to fat shame anyone. You have a lot of eyes, young eyes, on your channel. Putting out something like this is stupid, okay? Sorry, I just have to call it what it is. It, it, it's really stupid. I started dieting. I found a gym, I found a personal trainer, and I got to work. And after a month of working out for three days a week, 45 minutes at a time, doing cardio, abs, arms, legs, as well as going to cycling and or yoga class once a week for an hour, I lost zero pounds? How? I was doing everything right. Calories in, calories out, more greens, less takeout, gym membership, personal trainer. This made no sense. Unless maybe I just wasn't working hard enough. This is something that I see very uh, common when it comes to dieting and I'm just going to diet for a month and get ripped. Well, no, that's not really dieting. In order to get to whatever level, whatever status you're looking for, it's not gonna take a month. It's gonna take between six months to a year. I, I think it's all about the mentality you have going in, right? You have to be realistic and I get it. I feel you when I go running for like 45 minutes, I expect myself to have a six pack by the end of it, but that's not going to be realistic we gotta once again not to sound repetitive but we gotta be realistic with our expectations what was she expecting was she expecting to go to the gym for like one month and then be ripped and then have all of her problems go away that's just not realistic that's not how the body works and i get it it sucks when you've been grinding killing it and then you go to weight yourself and whoa I look the same or I gain pounds. This is not something you do in one month. This is something that you do bare minimum for five, six months until you start seeing results. But my personal trainer assured me that I was doing great. I might not have seen the scale move or felt like my clothes fit better, but from her perspective, she noticed an improvement in my posture. She saw my energy and endurance had increased too. Even the way I talked about life, I was noticeably less stressed. And although I did agree with her, my back wasn't hurting as much, 
I was getting better sleep and my mood did recover faster when she did hit the fan. So we are seeing pros from going to the gym. You know, when I'm not feeling the best, when I'm feeling a little too um, sad, when I'm having an emo moment, getting on the treadmill for like an hour, putting some bangers, it helps me mentally. It helps me come up with video ideas. It helps me be less stressed and I'm getting a hell of a workout. I'm not saying going to the gym is going to solve all of your problems because it's not, but after a month, she herself admits that she was feeling better, better posture, better everything. So you are seeing some perks from working out. You're seeing some pros from working out. Everything is working except, you know, your body physically changing. And once again, that's going to take a while. It's not going to be done in 30 days. And you got to stay consistent about it too. This should be a pro gym video, <laughs> not a perks of being fat. So we continued the workouts and I just had to hope for the best. But four months into diet and exercise, there was still no change on the scale. And it made me feel like such a failure. Come on, Illy. You need to be patient. Losing weight is a lifestyle change. You have to be serious and committed to it if you really want to lose weight. I don't know who this little fellow is, but he's spitting facts. <laughs> this was proof that my body and other people's bodies don't need to be less fat to be considered healthy which I know sounds crazy. We've been told our entire lives that you can't be healthy if you're fat. Yet here I am at the heaviest I've ever been in my entire life, categorically overweight and well within middle school mocking range, but also the healthiest I've ever been, according to multiple doctors. Now coming to this conclusion wasn't easy for me. I had a lot of unrealistic and frankly problematic ideas about health to unpack and reprioritize in my brain. Nah, she did not just throw away the scale. <laughs> like, you will not have control over my life, scale. Bye, bitch. Uh, so we're being told that fat people are healthy. Sister, what are you doing? You are not cooking. You're cooking with the stove off. There's no gas, there's no flame. There's just nothing. You're giving us nothing out here. I sympathize with you i really do and i feel bad for you but it's like don't encourage this i i wish i could say that was all or that was the worst of it but body neutrality is the idea of taking a neutral stance on how we look not bullying ourselves for what we think we should change but also not worshiping the parts of ourselves that do align with diet culture this way of thinking challenges us to look in the mirror and say yep that's my body and finally celebrate its existence for what it can do okay I agree with that. I'm with you on that. Everyone has imperfections. Everyone has a little extra here and there. I, mean, I feel you. I'm with you. I agree with you. If you ended it right here, I'd be like, okay, sure. Still a mid video, but sure. I get it. Be comfortable in your own skin, right? Love yourself. I'm all for that. I support that and I love that and I do it. But she kept going. And when it comes to food, that same logic should apply. A carrot isn't an inherent good food, while chocolate is an inherent bad food. Food is just food, no matter how many calories, carbs, sugars, whatever is in it. Okay, you did not just say that. Food is just food? Are you shitting me right now? So you're telling me if I eat this, this is healthy? This is okay, because food is just food. And what do you mean a carrot and a marshmallow or a chocolate bar? It's just food, guys. Just eat it. No, don't follow that advice. That's how you get to naked avocado size, okay? That is the worst advice possible. And even my man right here has diabetes because of all the chocolate they've been giving them. God damn. What the fuck is this advice? Oh, it doesn't matter if it's a carrot or a chocolate. Yeah, it does. <laughs> a carrot is not going to give you diabetes, okay? A carrot is not 500 calories like a sneakers bar, like five bars of chocolate, or like Kanye said, Twix, they're making them double the size to make us fat. There's a huge difference in food, okay? Chocolate and good amounts of portions not bad, have a chocolate bar every week. Or, 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 I don't know, two times per month. But if you're eating it every single day, it's not going to have the same effects as if you eat a carrot every single day. You know what I mean? There is a difference. What the fuck are you on about right now, sis? Ain't no way you said this to two million people. Carrot isn't an inherent good food, while chocolate is an inherent bad food. Food is just food, no matter how many calories, carbs, sugars, whatever is in it. Unless you have life-threatening allergies or dietary restrictions to follow, you should feel free to eat whatever food you want to. Okay, great. Yeah, give fucking marshmallows 
chocolate in a cracker to someone that has diabetes already. Is she trolling? Oh great, now she's glorifying obesity. I'm not glorifying anything. My point is simple. Don't be a d to fat people. I mean, that wasn't really the point though, right? It was eat whatever you want, food is just food. And I get it, don't be a dog to fat people. Okay, sure, I agree with that. But your message is so stinky, it's bad, it's stupid, and it encourages bad behavior. Just look at all of these comments. Imagine attacking a YouTuber who's way smarter than you just because they didn't agree with you. Look at this comment, I almost died because of a few extra pounds I gained several months ago. I wanted to get high calories diet so I could increase my gain at the gym. Gym. I started gaining weight at first all good but when I hit 200 pounds my heart started failing well according to her that would be a perk of being a fat kid I started getting panic attacks yeah why would you ever encourage this it sounds miserable eating whatever you want is not healthy in the slightest don't just go telling kids that dude being a fat kid for 21 years there's nothing fun or any perks about this shit especially when you're a literal kid even if you exercise a lot it does not matter in the grand scheme of things if your diet is utter garbage yeah like you could be working out like a beast like the rock but if you're eating like shit the diet is a huge portion of that so long story short don't listen to this girl I hate the fact that she wanted to take someone's channel down because they dare disagree with her. L. L content creator. With that said, thank you so much for watching. I love you. Don't forget to like this video. Like it, share. Please subscribe to the channel. We're so close to uh half a million. Yeah, half a million. And with that said, I'll see you next time. Peace out.